and welcome in Matt Lutovsky. Matt Lutovsky from the Sporting News here to help us cover the NBA. And Matt, uh, that game expected to be tight last night. It was anything but where the T-Wolves blow the doors off the Nuggets to force a game seven. 115 to 70 was the final. A massive win for the T-Wolves. Anthony Edwards, 27 points. Uh, Jaden McDaniels with 21 But Mike Conley's return really seemed to be the key for the T-Wolves. Anthony Edwards and many of the players and coaches were discussing his impact on the court last night. And clearly, Conley's ability to distribute and take some of the pressure off of Edwards made him and the team far more efficient offensively. Yeah, I, I definitely. And and Anthony Edwards said that right after the game, too. Uh, he was asked his press conference, what was the difference? He said, we got Mike Conley back. And there's no doubt that whatever Conley adds with his scoring, his three-point shooting, is is almost sort of a bonus. But like you said, he is the distributor. He's the quarterback of the offense. I just think for a team like that, there's a sense of relief when they look over and they see Mike Conley on the court. And he's a little bit smarter defensively, even if he isn't quite as big or quite as uh, as athletic as some of the other guys they can play in that spot. And he just knows what to do. He just knows where to go. He knows where to get people the ball to put them in position. So his return was was without question huge. Uh, you know, d- did anyone think that was going to meet him? They were going to win by 45? I don't think so. Uh, so there was clearly more going on than just that starting with Denver missing shots that they've been making the past three games and uh, Jaden McDaniels finally joining the series on the offensive end. But what I thought was interesting too for the Wolves is Carl Anthony Towns didn't do much offensively. 10 points, didn't make a three. This wasn't one of those games where, well, every guy on the Wolves was hitting their shots. No one on the Nuggets was hitting their shots. It was, I mean, no one on the Nuggets really hit their shots except for Nikola Jokic and, and uh, Aaron Gordon a little bit, but the Wolves, I think, still have a have a, another level to go to offensively, uh, at least in terms of consistency from all their shooters and all their scores. So this really sets up a fascinating Game Seven. We've seen a little bit of everything in this series: Wolves blowouts, Nuggets and blowouts, some close games where the, uh, one of the teams pulled away late. And uh, it really feels like anything can happen in this Game Seven, and I think it's going to be a real, real treat for fans. Yeah, we'll see that one Sunday night. The Nuggets favored by four and a half at home with a total of 198. They they dropped two games, one by 26, one by 45. So some curious performances out of the Nuggets in this series. Uh, and we'll look forward to that game seven. The only game seven really in our world right now, although others may be happening on the court and on the ice.